Uh, and here's a woman who wrote in a letter, like I said, who is telling us exactly what's wrong. So that means she has identified the problems. And she's also provided us with all the solutions for herself. But obviously she don't know this power she has. So here we go. 49 year old single woman. I say I'm single because I've been in a dead end relationship for 10 years. Did you hear yourself? Your relationship for 10 years is going dead end. I was, was past this, so in love with this man. I felt like he loved me, but he stopped telling me after three years. So for seven years, you haven't felt love. Are you listening to you? Uh, he'd say I was the closest thing he had to a wife, and everybody knows who his number one is. So now he got enough women, so he numbered. All right. I was too needy and gullible back then to realize how stupid that sounded. Back then, when? Was it at the first three years you sounded good? Or it took you seven years of realizing what he was saying? I'm a little confused, sister, but it don't sound like you are. There has been a few instances here and there where I'd hear something about my man out in the street, and he would always say that uh, that other woman that other women are jealous of me because he's all mine. He has a huge ego and I fed it for years. And now that I've come to my senses, I want out of this foolishness. Okay, here goes the answer. Our house is in my name. His car is in my name. And he has a credit card I let him use. Those three things right here. Number one, put him out of your house. Hmm. Number two, repo your car. And number three, report the credit card stolen. <laughs> Have them send you a new car with a new number and now his ass is out of house, home, and a little. It's just that simple. You put all this in the letter. It's been a cycle of this man telling me whatever I needed to hear. No, he told you what you wanted to hear. So I wouldn't dump him, but I'm ready to go for good and here's why. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now she ready to go and here, this is why. Okay, let's look at this. I got home from work too. He was already home in his bathroom. He said he felt like he had COVID. Oh, what a nice guy. I think I got COVID. I come home, put on the damn damn bathrobe, and wait on you to come home so I can breathe this information on your ass. <laughs> you thought you had COVID. So you come home, put a bathrobe on and breathe all over the house and breathe this information on me. Are you kidding me? So I told him to go to the doctor. He couldn't wait. He left uh, at 4 p.m. and called me later, said he'd been admitted and he would call me later. I did not even ask what hospital he was in and the nurse must have been off because, and his phone must have been off because I couldn't reach him. Now watch this. My spidey senses kicked in. Where they always well, do. had these damn senses been for 10 years. <laughs> so your spidey senses kicked in after 10 years at all. Oh, your spidey sense it kicked in when he gave you COVID mm. or when you thought, what? what? Anyway, I called his mother to see if she heard from him. She said he just left her house. He looked fine to her. He looked fine to me. He's I'm stupid. How did that sound? How did she say it, Steve? Well, well, Robert was over here and he just left the house and he, Robert looked good to me. You say he got COVID. <laughs> well, he didn't have his bad robe on over here. And he was he can't driving. help it. He can't help it. He can't just uh, go through let the letter. Let me call Robert and see if he got the COVID or not. Because why would he come over here if he had the COVID? Yeah, right. <laughs> he know I got a pre-existing condition. That's right, Mama. She said he had just left the house and, 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 and looked fine. He came in the next morning. It was, with Gatorade and some ibuprofen. Uh, you're proud of him. And he said it was dehydrated. Boy, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'd i be proud of him had, had not stopped by his mom. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd 
been proud of him. He had to stop for a long time. But this was a good one. Gatorade and I were close. And they told him to just be hot. I'm not the one, and we're not the two. What you mean to say is, I'm not number one. I'm somewhere around number two. Because there's a lot of stuff in front of you. You ain't even the number one no more. Because he just spent the night somewhere else. The it's time, for, yeah. He was getting some healing. <laughs> but it wasn't it. from the doctor. Uh, it's time for him to go, and I need advice on how to break the cycle so he doesn't keep lying to you. How do I get rid of this man? Let's go over this again. The house is in your name. Put him out your house. The car he drives is in your name. Repo the car. And he has a credit card I let him use. Report the credit card stolen. That's it. Thank you, Steve. Post your comments on today's Strawberry Letter at Steve Harvey FM on Instagram and Facebook. And check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on demand. Coming up at 46 minutes. All right, y'all. So the part that I didn't catch was when he did it earlier. And he said that he went over the part of the letter where she said that um, when she heard about the stories from other women, he said something along the lines of, oh, they're just jealous. Um, everybody knows you're my number one, which to me is very telling um, on how he maneuvers. Because in order for me to be number one, there has to be other women there. So I basically agree with everything that they said. She just got to go. I feel like because it's been 10 years, she's confused like oh how do i do it it's not a matter of how you just gotta do it and i think the fact of the matter is that she's just very comfortable she doesn't really want to do it so she's trying to figure out like how just do it girl like it don't make no sense like you've been with somebody for 10 years it seems like seven of them you weren't really happy he didn't really make you feel like you know you were in a secure relationship and from the sounds of it there's no um plan to solidify a future and at this point honestly I don't know why you would want one other than being around for 10 years I feel like you women um seem to think that's a trophy like oh I've been with this man xyz years but it's a fucked up relationship so why are you over here counting years like you doing something good sis you need to get out of there like it don't make no sense. Like, y'all sleeping in separate rooms. We've been together 20 years. Ma'am. Bye. It don't make sense. Just go. Just go. What y'all think? Let me know what y'all think in the comments.